good morning and welcome in this video i will explain uh, a simple data analysis of time series data let me introduce you to the data file that uh, i i am going to use and uh, the name of the data file is ts line 2 with the uh, extension of dta that is the time series data and that uh, can be download it from the net it is also available in the example uh, files of the stata uh, software so i'll be using uh, this uh, file i'm also sharing with you the do file that uh, i'm going to use and uh, the first command will be used to download the data file that is in the command area i will type sys use ts line 2 and then i can download uh, the data from the net or the uh, stata uh, software so let me show it to you how you can do that so here is my stata file and uh, i will use sys use uh, ts line 2 and uh, yes the file has been now downloaded and uh, let me browse the file there are these four variables the first variable is the day that is the date and uh, this is calories consumed and uh, u calories means the upper range of uh, the calories and uh, this is the lower range of the calories so this is the uh, description of the data after that let me also do this uh, side by side i have this do file after this i am going to generate a variable that is equal to t and t means underscore n so if i click on this command it will generate uh, a trend variable that will start from 1 up to n so there are uh, 365 variables so the t value will range between 1 and 365 so let me show it to you uh, stata has generated this trend variable this is for time and um, if we scroll down it will go up to 365 so this is the trend variable that i just uh, generated with the stata after that after this i will sort the data uh, by t that is by trend okay and uh, after this i will uh, declare my data as time series data so the command is ts set now stata will declare uh, this data as time series data so it says this data is from 1st january 2002 uh, through uh, 31st december 2002 and uh, data or the change is uh, one day after that i will generate let us suppose as i mentioned the, there are three variables calories uh, the range of upper calories and uh, lower calories and uh, i would like to generate uh, another variable that will be um, that will show the lagged values of the calories lagged values of the calories so the command is gen and uh, leg cal so leg cal is the name for the new variable to be generated and that must be equal to l1 i am generating i i am generating the first leg the first leg variable of calories so uh, if i enter so this variable uh, has been generated here and this is the lagged value of the calories now let me show you to you what does it mean uh, if you see this is the original variable and this is the uh, lagged value of the original um, variable calories now you see the first value becomes here uh, in front of the second january so this is lagged one period lag so this series has pushed back so there will be one uh, missing value because there was no previous value so there is one missing value i can also generate uh, another variable with the um, two legs just like the one leg so let me copy it and uh, if i do that uh, stata generated another variable for me now there will be 
two missing values. See here, now there are two missing values for the two leg uh, variable of the calories. Uh, in addition to these, I can also generate lead values of the calories and for that the command is uh, generate. Now instead of leg, I will write lead and the, the formula for that is F1. Instead of L1, I will write F1 and F1 means forward or lead. So it will lead the variable by one uh, period. So let me show what does it mean. Uh, contrary to the legged, now the second value becomes the first value in the lead uh, variable. And uh, now there will be one missing value but at the end of the data. Yes, exactly here. And similarly, I can also generate uh, another variable with the uh, two period lead and for that the command is f2 calories so let me share it with you and uh, see it here now there will be two missing values at the end of the now the third value became the first value here uh, in front of first january and there will be two missing values at the end of uh, this uh, variable so this is because there is this is two period lead so the data has been pushed forward rather than backward uh, i can also generate uh, another variable that will be the difference between the present and the leg value so the command is gen gen and uh, d cal now this means the difference of the uh, calories variable and that is equal to calories minus uh, leg leg cal that is it is generating the difference between the current value of the calories and its past values and let me show it to you uh, here is the decal variable that has been generated since there was no previous value so the difference between this and the previous value is equal to dot there is no previous value so we cannot uh, uh, generate difference for the first value but there is the difference this is the difference between 3706 3, 708.6 minus 300 3750 so the difference is equal to minus 41.33 and now the difference between this value and this value is equal to this value and so on so there is one missing value because for the first value there is no uh, missing value before that uh, after that let me uh, now let me uh, run a very simple hypothetical regression in this uh, uh, file so here is uh, the regression uh, what i am doing i am regressing calories on uh, leg value of the calories first first leg value of the calories and uh, two period leg of the calories and uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, regression now if i make it a little bit bigger then you see these are the actual let, let me do it again so that you can see uh, yes this is the regression and after that i am adding another variable trend with the same regression and uh, I want to see if uh, trend is also appealing this. So now here there was no time trend variable here but in this model I use t as my explanatory variable and this is the coefficient and this says that uh, the calories uh, variable has uh, a time trend a positive time trend that is it uh, increases uh, over time by this factor and uh, this uh, coefficient is significant highly significant at 1% level. So uh, it means uh, that um, there is a positive trend in the data. So we should uh, detrain uh, this variable mm, because because of trend there may be uh, a true correlation. So let me also run another regression of the calories only on time trend. And I okay. So this is the regression of calories on t, and its coefficient is point. 
and uh, the t value is t point uh, the 6.67 which is highly significant so there is a part positive trend in the calories variable so over time the calories uh, has been uh, increasing over time so this is a um, indication an indication of the uh, serious serial auto correlation so after that i am going to predict the uh, residue residual of uh, this regression and uh, the command is here now these uh, uh, residual has been the, um, uh, generated and uh, saved here and after that let me uh, regress the first period leg values of calories on time t and uh, here is the result and i will also predict the uh, residual values for this regression here is the command and uh, the predict the residual have also been created and saved and after that let me regress the two period leg values of calories on t and uh, here is the command and this is the regression and uh, in all these uh, regression regressions the trend variable uh, coefficient uh, has been uh, uh, very um, significant so it means there is problem with this data of uh, autocorrelation okay and uh, after that let me try another regression and that is the regression of calories on the leg values of the calories plus trend again once i have done this before but uh, i am doing it again and then i am going to tell something so this is the regression of calories on its leg value and two period leg value plus the time trend and as, as i told you that the coefficient of the time trend is uh, highly significant so uh, it uh, gives us clear indication of uh, the existence of autocorrelation or serial correlation and now i am showing you the output of uh, the regression with the trend variable including trend and uh, I am also doing another regression of calories uh, detrended and uh, the calories detrended and then the leg values of the calories detrended and the leg 2 calories detrended. This is another regression in which I have detrended all the three variables and uh, here is the regression. Now when I detrend these variables, now there will be no t variables because the time trend has been uh, detrended. Uh, let me also estimate, store the estimates of the detrended variables. These are the estimates of the uh, detrended variables which will be stored and then I will compare the results. Now I store these. After that, let me bring out the output. So I am asking stata to give me the output table and you can see these are the re regression results including trend okay so the trend variable has been included this is the coefficient of uh, uh, leg calories two period leg values of the calories and this is the coefficient of the time and this is the um, value or the coefficient of the constant and this these are the coefficient of the detrended variables so this is a uh, uh, i have detrended the leg values of the calories and then i have detrended the leg values of two period by two period of the calories, uh, calories and uh, this is the coefficient so this is how we can uh, detrend the data and uh, we can use it in the regression I can also ask Stata to give me number of observation and R square. So if I do this, you know, is in the first variable I ask the Stata uh, to give me the T values and the number of observations and the R squared values. 
so it gave me these values so these values in the parentheses are the t values and the three star shows that uh, 